from one of my Facebook friends. She says, I like my man clingy, God-fearing, reassuring, loving, protecting, and obsessed with me. Y'all, let me tell y'all something, bro. This girl be in my stories all the time. This woman got like three, four kids. She a baddie. Recently got a BBL, too. So the body bodying, man. She popping, bro. But I ain't trying to deal with no three, four kids, man. But hey, hey, more power to you if you want to deal with that. People are like, you need to be with a man that loves you more than you love him because then he won't cheat. Can I just tell you something? You obviously don't know why men cheat. Men can be madly in love with you and cheat. The main reasons why they cheat is when they don't feel appreciated and when they don't feel desired. Now, when you're with a man that loves you more than you love him, automatically, he doesn't feel appreciated because he thinks that he loves you more than you love him. And automatically, he doesn't feel desired because he feels like he desires you more than you desire him. He's more likely to cheat. It's just that he's more likely to pay. He's more likely to, instead of get into a relationship with another woman, he's more likely to go to an escort or more likely to pay for desire and pay for appreciation. So if you ever think, oh, I'm going to be with a man because if he loves me more than I love him, he'll never cheat. You are delusional, my love. You are so lucky you have me to explain this to you. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So there was something going on on TikTok that was trending a while back. And this was like a little bit prior before I was locked out of my account and unable to upload on here. And I wanted to go over it with you guys because I think this is a good example of what I mean when I say you have to deal with a woman that likes you because relationships don't really work when the man likes the woman more so than the woman likes the man without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it so can we stop telling women to find or to find a man yes to find a man that loves you more than you love him to have the best outcome in a relationship because how's that fair how is that fair for the man. This is how I know y'all be going into these relationships thinking about y'all sales and thinking about y'all's outcomes instead of the bigger picture between you and him. A man being with a woman who don't love him as much as he loves her. Listen to how crazy that sounds. What man would willingly sign up for that? What man would willingly sign up for that knowing a woman is not going to love him the way he loves her? But he's expected to do everything and, you know, he's expected to do as the husband or as the man in a relationship, go above and beyond for a woman who does not love him as much as he loves her. Y'all be sounding so entitled and selfish when y'all say stuff like this. And it really disappoints me when I even hear other married women um, give, you know, ladies this advice. Me and my husband love each other just as much. There's no more than the other. OK, I mean, we love each other a lot. So that's what I'm saying. It says a lot when you have that mutual feeling between two versus, you know, you're feeling that love coming more from one side. It's going to show in the behavior. It's going to show in the treatment. This also explains why if you're operating with this mindset, why a lot of women leave relationships or initiate divorces. That is selfish as hell. You're supposed to find a man that's going to love you as much as you love him, period. These men don't owe you anything, okay? And y'all just seem like, y'all feel like because you're a, you're a woman, you're entitled to have a man that's going to love you more, gives you that sense of security. He's, he needs that sense of security. Why would a man go above and beyond for a woman who does not love him? as much as he loves her. Y'all listen to that. How can a man love a woman in a healthy way that doesn't love him as much as he loves her? Y'all trying to set these men up, man. <laughs> and she is 100% right. They are doing exactly that. Setting these men up. Like this brother you about to see here in this next clip. He's the guy that's gone viral recently. 
Oh, uh, look at us. We kind of matching today. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, it's going to end so bad for him. I see it right now. He's the good guy. He's just not her type. She wants him, his personality, his actions, in the guy that she actually likes. That guy wants everything to do with her, but she wants nothing to do with him. All she's going to do is force herself to like him, right? But it's not going to last long at all. Buddy is just going to have to enjoy his time while he has it because, bro, it's just like, damn. And like, as sad as it may sound, bro, looks play a part. And you just know the fact that she had to put that caption, bro. <laughs> the fact she had to put that caption, it just shows you like, nah, it's not going to work, bro. Like, hopefully she just ghosted him or something. Hopefully she don't try to drag it along. But yeah, bro, it's not going to work. You see it all the time. Like, bro, it can be a shitty dude, but he got the looks. He got all the looks and the, and the money, whatever. But he just treats her bad, but she eats it up because that's her type. The whole date whoever likes you thing breaks my heart. I'm not going to lie. Because a lot of guys don't even know that they're the guy in this situation. And sometimes you will never know. But I remember one time I was dealing with this chick, right? I went to her crib, right? She'd been knowing me for years. She'd been hitting my DM for years, but I never really wanted her for real. I finally give her the time of day. I pull up to her crib, right? That one morning I had pulled up a guy that actually wanted her, called her phone. He hit her with the, oh, let's go get some brunch. Let me take you out for breakfast. Let's do this. Let's do that. He making plans. She looks over at me like just this laughing as he's blabbering on. So while he's asking, she's just like, okay, I'll let you know. Just bullshitting. I'm just dragging him along. After she hangs up the phone, she looks at me and says, oh, you know how it's just like, it's just like the right guy. Like he does everything. He's a nice, kind guy. He does everything for you, but he's just in like the wrong body. I couldn't even, bro. I, I really, I really felt for him, bro. I'm not going to lie. Like, bro, like if you're not the complete package, they're just going to tolerate you and limit you to them. Like you're going to have like limited access to that woman. Like she would never fully like you if you don't got the looks, the money, the um, the kindness, the good guy stuff. It's just certain things you, you would never get the complete woman is what I'm saying. And as sad as that may sound, bro, you just have to be aware of who you are to that girl. <laughs> And I can't stress that enough. And the reason why I wanted to let both of those clips play because I've been on both sides when it comes to that situation. And let me tell you, um, when you're the guy that doesn't even know that you're that guy, um, yeah, it's pretty, it, it, it's pretty bad and it, and it hurts. And this is one of the reasons why I wanted to start this channel so that way guys could have a more sense of awareness of what women really think about them based on their actions and you know just asking the right questions let's keep it moving i've noticed this with all of my guy friends that are the most successful with girls that have the most options when it comes to women like women wanting them not even them going out there and trying to women what i find is usually they all sleep with like the super like super hot girls and then they always always end up with a girl who's like naturally pretty or like quite cute but is just like a superstar like she is just the best woman to have by your side and i've constantly witnessed these guys that could literally have whatever woman they want out there any shade color height body shape, whatever they want and then there will always be that one girl who like has their heart and it's never always like the most hot or the most attractive or the most followers usually it's just the one who's like quite private very cute but just an outstanding woman Thank you for proving my point. This is what I've been saying, Cotton 4K. These women are not upset with my video in regards to anything dealing with assault, SA, or grape. They are upset that I challenged their ability to pull men. I don't know when y'all gonna realize how manipulative a lot of women are. When they are upset with you, they will go to the extreme to make it seem like it's something else other than what it actually is. And this comment is proof of what it actually is. It was never about victims because my video wasn't about victims. I didn't discuss victims one time in that video. But what I did discuss was women's ability to get men, men ignoring them. That's the easiest way to set a lot of these women off. You don't notice that when you get in arguments with them, the first thing they bring up is how many men want them, how many men is in their DM, how many dudes they can pull. That is what they think is what's most important. That's they claim to fame is their ability to get men, to get men to sleep with them. 
It's 2024 and they still think men wanting to have sex with them is a flex. They still think the amount of men in they DM is a flex. And you think that it was truly about my video and anything dealing with victims? It wasn't. It was never about that. They only cared that I challenged their ability to get men. God forbid I make it seem like when they go out, men don't, don't pay them no mind. They ignore them. They didn't like that. They didn't like me saying that men ignore them. That's why this girl right here is telling you men don't ignore her because she that girl. Like when she go out, dudes be on her. She wants you to know she get dudes. That's all this was about. But I'm the pick me. I'm the pick me. But every chance they get, they somewhere centering men and fighting for the right to be wanted and chosen by them. But this is a new low of bringing up victims and people who've been assaulted at the hands of men just to make it seem like that's what you're really upset about when the whole time you just mad because I challenged your ability to be able to get men because I talked about some of y'all attractiveness when it comes to men wanting you. If that was what you was mad about, you should have just addressed that. But don't bring up real victims in a video that don't got nothing to do with victims just to prove a point that you're upset because I said you couldn't pull dudes. You know what I find absolutely hilarious? <laughs> Every woman thinks she's a good woman. Like, they act like, well, women act like bad women don't exist. As if all these good women exist, all these good men could find good women. If all these good men existed, all these good women could find good men. I don't know where y'all thought that majority of women are good women because I see on the daily y'all are not giving y'all could be good individuals but you're not giving a good woman in regards to a partnership that is a mindset thing and the way that some of y'all think is giving selfish and I want to be single you know what I find absolutely hilarious <laughs> hey she said that I didn't but to be honest with you, I can't disagree with it. I mean, because when you really look at what you see on social media all the time, it seems to be... <laughs> Yo, that might, I might have to put this on a shirt, y'all. Provide or bust. You know, because with football season coming up, you know how all teams always be like Super Bowl or bust. I'm like, we got, we, I might have to put that on a shirt, provide or bust. If that's the case, a lot of us going to bust because that is just crazy, man. That that seems to be the dating market, provide or bust, literally. Because otherwise, oh no, I can do bad all by myself. I'm already paying everything. Why, why do I got to bring you into my life and you only pay? And that's going to be a never-ending topic when it comes to these spaces. I can see that now. Let's keep it moving. I remember when a woman asked me um, why her husband never wants anything for Father's Day. I explained to her that most men feel their value is in what they do, their persistence instead of who they are their existence. This programmed performance-based mentality makes it hard for us as men to accept gifts for doing nothing. What we truly desire from our wives or the special women in our lives is genuine respect, affirmation, and understanding every day, not just on a special occasion. So instead of focusing on material gifts, I suggested to her three ways to show appreciation for her husband's existence. Number one, take advantage of every opportunity to acknowledge and affirm his character and qualities that are unrelated to what he does for a living, but who he is as a human being. Number two, Give him a gentle scalp massage when he's asleep, especially if you catch him taking a nap. This will subconsciously reinforce that rest is not a weakness, 
but a restoration of strength. And lastly, number three, encourage open communication without trying to solve his problems. One more time, ladies, encourage open communication without trying to solve our problems. The majority of the time, all we need is a listening ear, not an instructive tongue. Be slow to speak and quick to listen. A good man may be hard to find, but trust me, he's not hard to keep. Shalom. Well said, OG. And y'all let me know what y'all thought about this. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way y'all know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.